History was made back on July 20th, 1969, when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon. Since then, NASA has grown, technology has evolved exponentially, and space travel has become commercialized. And now, as Max Massey shows us, Astroport, a local company, has a second contract from NASA, and they have the goal of building on the moon. Astroport is a space construction and materials construction company, or materials development company. We are building infrastructure for the moon. Meet Sam Jimenez, space architect and CEO of Astroport. It's a company working to use moon dust to build infrastructure on the moon thanks to a second NASA contract. The first one was to learn how to melt the regolith. This is what we build with. We take the, the moon dust essentially and we melt it, learn about the, the heat regimes and the, how, you, how you get to the, to the melting and the solidification of that material. And now this one is how do we actually construct the landing pad? This is the excavation. This is an unconsolidated rock material. This moon material is being used to build, so you wouldn't have to bring more materials to outer space. So how do we excavate that, that lunar dirt and turn it into the material that feeds the melter? And this is what we'll be doing in that. So it's, it's, it's called bulk regolith uh, manipulation, the bulk regolith excavation and sieving and filtering and putting it into our, into our as a feed system into the melter. That's the big difference. The civil engineering aspect of it. The new research describes a multi-step way for multiple machines to autonomously or via remote control to collect materials on the moon, melt it down, then use them as building materials. The idea seems almost like science fiction, but it is in the works and it could come sooner than you think. Well, we actually have a, a technology milestone by 2026 to put our first technology demonstration robot on the lunar surface to prove as a proof of concept that we can actually make these bricks on the moon. 2026 is the big milestone. And Sam tells me by 2030, the building of infrastructure could begin. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.